Now, another common question is being asked to fill up a table where you are asked to write down the total. So, the way we are doing this math, there is another perspective. First of all, you will be given a table and you will be asked to fill up the table. So, suppose there are two dice. One is a red die. So, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there is a blue die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you would be asked. If the two dice are thrown and there is a total number, you, you'll be asked to fill up the total number here. So, so this, so you will be asked to fill up the number. What would be the total? So the question is, the die is one is red and one is blue, so they are thrown together. It's the same as the previous math is throwing the same die twice. Here we have two different die, fair and unbiased die, and we are throwing this simultaneously. So the question is fill up the table, write down the total score. So we can just fill up the table. So 1 plus 1 is 2. If you just follow it, it will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then this is going to be 1 plus 2, 3. This will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then this is going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you add it up, it will be like this. 2 plus 3, 5, 3 plus 3, 6, and on and on. So 1 plus 4 is going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1 plus 5 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then 6 plus 1 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, uh, what you'll be asked to do is you'll be asked to use this table to find the probability. The concept is the same, but this time they'll be asking you to use this table. So for example, if they ask you the question, find the probability that the total is 3. Previously, we did using permutation. In this particular math, all we have to do is count what is the value of n. So we can see the value of n is altogether, if you add up these values, all of these values, you will see there are 36 different numbers over here. So 36. So now they are asking you find the probability that the total is 3. So the total is 3 here. One. Then we have 2. There's only 2. That's it. So the probability will be 2 out of 36 and it will be 1 by 18 just like before. But in this case, we are using this table to do that. Now suppose the question is, find the probability that the total is 5. So the total is 5. So now using this table, so we know there are altogether 36 numbers. So out of 36 number, how many 5 do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 5s. So it will be 4. So 4 out of 36. So this is going to be 1 by 9. Now the questions can be a little bit different. They can ask you the question, find the probability that the total is more than 10. Okay, so this is a bit different. So now find the probability that the total is more than 10. So in this case, we can see which numbers are more than 10. So if you just follow the diagonals, you will see 11, 11, 12. So there are three numbers that are more than 10. So we can write 3 out of 36, which is basically 1 by 12. Now there can be a little bit different type of a question. They might ask you the question, find the probability that we have a prime number prime number okay so we know altogether there are 36 numbers of them how many numbers are prime numbers 2 is a prime number 3 is a prime number 3 is a prime number 5 5 5 5 is a prime number 7 7 7 7 7 7 is a prime number 11 11 is a prime number so now if we count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 prime numbers out of this 36. So that's how we can do this math also. Then there can be another question. They might ask you the question, find the probability that it's a perfect square. So find the probability that the total is a perfect square. Again, we have 36 numbers. Now out of these, the perfect squares that we have, uh, they are going to be 4 is a perfect square. So 4. 4, 9 is a perfect square, 9, 9, 9, 9, so that means only 4 and 9. Perfect square means uh, when you do a square root, you get an integer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are altogether 
seven numbers that are perfect squares. So this is going to be seven out of 36. So when you have a die throwing like this, all you have to do is do it from the table instead of uh, thinking about what the total would be.